。我以为有一天就算长大，可以大声说自己的想法。明知道越大就越要失下，莫名其妙的人都要我听话。In terms of food, I'm kind of eccentric. I love all types of food, but it's always an exception. Like for pasta, I don't like the normal spaghetti. I love those tikka one, like penne ravioli. Yeah, and tortellini. Yeah, I like those doughy stuff. It gives you more texture. I like the white munch on the dough. You see. Actually, I love seafood, but only certain seafood. Like I don't like oysters and those seafood with shells. I discovered that there's a lot of uh, there's some stench, <laughs> like oyster clams, everything. But I love scallops and clayfish. Yeah, especially in in Singapore. Thanks to my nature, I don't drink tea and coffee. Yeah, which is um, I think tea and coffee is can, very 刺激 your throat. So I prefer like plain water and um, like today I have a honey lemon, which helps to smoothen my throat. I couldn't take any coffee product, even ice creams or coffee buns. Uh, it's like something is untouchable for me. I, I never know what coffee tastes like. <laughs> Last time when I was I was a kid, I loved egg yolk, but recently I like egg white. More than egg yolk, I don't know why, but uh, actually I enjoy the whole egg itself, especially the those uh, half-boiled eggs. Because in Taiwan, I didn't have a, uh, you seldom see half-boiled eggs over here. So every time when I come back, if I have a chance, I'll maybe go to Yakun and try the the Taiya toast with the half-boiled eggs. When it comes to junk food, uh, it reminds me of my toast. Those days which I'm unhappy, <laughs> and when I'm unhappy, I tend to go for junk food and go McDonald's, yeah, for French fries. It's a kind of like uh, releasing stress. <laughs> yeah, so I eat a lot of junk food <laughs> to make me feel happier, but it's not good for my body <laughs> because at the end of the day, I still need to go for extra gym sessions. I am a beef person, even if somebody said that. You shouldn't be eating beef when you're in this career, because the cow, the bull, the ox is someone who helps you. That that's a belief of the tradition in Taiwan. Most of my friends doesn't. Example, I me, mean Derek and uh, Kelly. Yeah, they know they ate beef, but they quit after they was in this line. I think it's working well for them. I tried that once. I quit beef for like two weeks. And I lost my wallet, <laughs> so I started to believe that I cannot quit beef. Beef rendang, I think we can only find it over here. And I sometimes I miss the gravy also. It's, it reminds me of I'm I'm still a Singaporean, I'm a typical Southeast Asian.